Hello friends, do subscribe to the channel for more such video updates. Hit the bell icon. Friends, today we are going to talk about light reaction, one of the most important reaction that takes place in the process of photosynthesis. So what we need to understand first, light reaction takes place in the grana and to be very much specific, it's in the thylakoid. So what is thylakoid? It's a disc-like structures basically. Number of thylakoids together forms grana present in chloroplast. Light reaction is of two types. One is called as cyclic photophosphorylation. Another one is non-cyclic photophosphorylation. In this video, we are going to mostly focus on cyclic photophosphorylation. In one of the videos, I have already shown you non-cyclic photophosphorylation. So, first, let's understand what is cyclic photophosphorylation. First, we should understand the definition of cyclic photophosphorylation. So, when we talk about cyclic photophosphorylation, so we need to say the process of synthesis of ATP from ADP during in presence of light during cyclic transfer of electron. So, the electrons are actually getting transferred in a cyclic manner and it is coming back to the source where from it was liberated. So, why it is called as cyclic? Because the initial donor of the electron and the final acceptor of the electron is same. That's why we call it as cyclic photophosphorylation. So, let's understand what cyclic photophosphorylation is actually. So, when we talk about cyclic photophosphorylation, we need to first understand something that is called as photosystem. So, whenever we are drawing a photosystem, first we need to draw a box. In the box, we are going to draw circles. Now, each circle is representing the bigger one is chlorophyll A and the smaller circles, they are all accessory pigment molecules. So, what we need to understand, photosystem 1 is going to absorb light energy at 700 nanometer. So, it absorbs one photon why we have shown one photon? Because only one electron is liberated. So, the electron lost first goes to FRS. What we say? Chlorophyll A of photosystem 1 absorbs light energy in the form of photon and becomes excited. Under this excitation, it loses energy in form of electron. The electron goes to FRS. What is FRS? Ferrodoxin reducing substance. From FRS, the electrons are transferred to FD. What is FD? Ferrodoxin. From ferrodoxin, the electrons are transferred to cytochrome B6. Cytochrome B6, then from cytochrome B6, the electron is transferred to cytochrome F. From cytochrome F, the electrons get transferred to PC. What is PC? It is plastocyanin. From plastocyanin, the electron goes back to photosystem 1. So, this electron is going to travel in a cyclic manner. So, we need to understand 700, one electron. And between FD and cytochrome B6, ATP synthesized. ADP plus IP gives ATP. Between cytochrome B6 and F, ATP is synthesized. So, this is called as photophosphorylation because ATP is synthesized in the presence of light. Let's see the full form. FRS stands for ferrodoxin reducing substance. FD is ferrodoxin and cytochrome B6 that is CYT B6 we say and CYTF stands for cytochrome F, PC is plastocyanin, PS that we have written here is PS1 that is photosystem or photostem. How to start with the answer? So, we need to understand here we are using photosystem 1 and 700 nanometer. So, we say chlorophyll A of PS1 absorbs light energy in the form of photon at 700 nanometer wavelength of light and becomes excited. Under this excitation, it loses energy in the form of electron and itself it gets ionized. So, and the energy that is lost electron is goes. Now, what is important here? We need to understand most important 
that the light reaction cyclic photophosphorylation it takes place in bacteria also the bacteria which are photoautotroph and second most important only ps1 that is photosystem 1 is involved and the wavelength of light is 700 friends let's see distinguish between cyclic and non cyclic photophosphorylation so when we talk about cyclic photophosphorylation we need to understand it takes place in all photoautotrophs non cyclic does not takes place in bacteria cyclic it initial donor and final acceptor of electron is same in non cyclic initial donor and final acceptor of electron is different in case of cyclic it involves only photosystem 1 in non cyclic it involves both photosystem 1 and photosystem 2 cyclic the light energy absorbed is at 700 nanometer wavelength non cyclic it is 680 and 700 nanometer wavelength in cyclic the energy formed is in the form of atp in non cyclic energy formed is in the form of atp and nadph2 in cyclic there is no photolysis of water in non cyclic photophosphorylation photolysis of water takes place in cyclic photophosphorylation the first electron acceptor is frs in non cyclic it is coenzyme q in case of cyclic only one electron is released whereas in non cyclic four electrons are released just to balance reaction in cyclic photophosphorylation there is cyclic transfer of electron in non cyclic there is non cyclic transfer of electron hope you have understood the distinguish between and cyclic photophosphorylation friends do like subscribe to the channel and share the video with your friends thank you very much